Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online, and today, today we did it. Today we're playing True Random Dice. I'm the anonymous guy from Sideways. I'm just kidding. From Netherlands. We're going to be the orange player. We're going to be playing with True Random Dice. So maybe I just get absolutely lambasted with rolling an 8 on 1 and lose everything. We don't know. I've got no blizzards on. This is actual classic fixed risk six players, the old school board game way, where every dice roll is the dice roll. There's no balanced blitz. There's no weird variance fixes. It's just true random dice, no blizzards, six players, nice and fresh. And everybody's hard if they're, uh, the AI difficulty is hard. 60 second turn timers, classic fix, true random dice, alliances are on, no fog, no blizzards, no portals. Blue is going to fight me for Europe. I have to leave. I will leave Europe. I will leave Europe. Where do I go? I'm going to go up and then into this five and point down. I mean, purple and black are going to fight in here, right? Oh, my God. And everything's true random. Wait, I have this. <clears throat> Can I make a seven on two work? If this was Balanced Blitz, I would love to roll a 7 on 2 on 1 and bring my 5 in here. Let me be the South America turtle boy. I have to do it. Oh, man. Please work. Don't do this to me. I could lose a 7 on 2 right away and just instantly lose the game. I'm so scared of the dice. As soon as we don't play with Balanced Blitz dice, I just, like, the dice just scare me. Because anything can happen. <laughs> Thank you, Hippo, for the Leroy. I mean, now I have to go for it. I can't even say no. Black's not going for Australia. He doesn't want to contest purple, but he's already going to lose his five. <clears throat> oh, please. Okay. I mean, I have the shot now. White can't get in there. Offer white an alliance. Offer blue an alliance. White's going to try a four on one. Are you expecting this to be balanced blitz, bro? Because four on ones aren't that good. They're like 92%, where three on one in balanced blitz is 89%. Oh, taste it. It's not good for you. <clears throat> I got smoked, he got smoked, but if I can get South America early and then keep a stack out here, I'll be okay. Hopefully. Maybe I can get strong in South America while everybody's getting owned by... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he's slow rolling it. He's scared of true random too. Of course, he's getting good dice though. He kills five troops and loses nothing. Yeah. Wow. Okay, he kills a five stack and a two stack and loses one troop, gets Australia for free. I lost three troops hitting a two. This guy hit seven troops. Jesus. Black's on 14 already. <laughs> what just happened? He just lost three troops hitting a one. And he lost another troop hitting another one. All right, true random, baby. Let's go. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you hitting that? All right. He five on two, lose whatever. I mean, everybody's feeling the pain. I'm equal in the troop lead now with all of us having 20. Um, how did per like purple got absolute god dice? That's so sick. Kills a five and a two and only loses one troop. And I lost three hitting a two. <clears throat> Novices get better dice. It's coded in. Changed my mind. For real. Go hit that purple five. Like, is he going to kill the eight with nothing? Lose nothing? No. All right, I got to get in here. I'm going to come in. I'm going to do one slow roll on this, and that's it. What's Black even doing? Are you a bot? He's unsure what he wants to do. Black's position is really bad, but I would probably full commit to going for North America at this point. Oh, he lost four hitting the two stick. 
This is why this is why we don't play true red. The, the dice are so. This is where the very this is where the most of the luck aspect comes into risk playing with settings like this. <clears throat> but you have to do it once in a while, right? Why not? Okay. Sixes? Okay. Okay, we've got a bonus. We got a dude and a cavalry. Can we get an artillery? Give him a thumbs up. If this black two gets out of the way, I would love to come in and fortify this up, but I'm not hitting a two. I mean, I did think about rolling a two on two, and if I got a perfect dice, I could bring the one in, but that makes this too easy for white, right? I want white to have to hit stacks. That's like a very small chance of me saving one troop as opposed to him losing potentially a lot. <clears throat> Purple be like, I love the dice. I'm gonna come in, watch you lose five on a one. It could happen. Well. Purple added in here? Oh, is he gonna go bing, bing, bong? Bing? I mean, sure, but extra attacks is worse than just leaving your stack there, honestly. No, he stays there. Ah. Do I add here, take a card on the blue one, and then move in here? Do we get set up to try to kill blue? All right, because then blue's got odd cards to take. Oh. I have not recovered from losing 9 on a 1 in the last season Chaos Semis. Yeah, it's absolutely... Oh, he lost 3 on a 1, man. Ooh. Thing is, if I can put a stack in Middle East, Purple can't get out. And Blue has to... Blue won't be able to take it. If I'm allied... <clears throat> if my alliance can stay good with White, he won't break this. He's not going to trade either. So I could put five here and then bring a six to here, maybe, if I don't lose di troops. Maybe I make this a five? I don't know. I feel like he's not going to break me, though. And I'll, that also might force purple in here instead, but I'd like him to stay here. Black is botting or what? What's up, RJ? Good morning. Yeah, red wants Asia, which is crazy to me. Yeah, so black probably bots. And that's going to cause a lot of mayhem. No, he doesn't. He's just taking a long time. Blitz a three on one down? Okay. So he actually sits there with a two, which is cool. But now I'm in red's way. Um, I need to maintain a position to take cards. <clears throat> maybe, I withhold, maybe I hold on to this two. I do, over time, want probably to look for North America, right? Guard with two fives. I did not get a trade on three. I did also get a Central America Cavalry, though. So if if, if somehow I can take a card in Central America, that would be good. Just get that extra two troops. I'm on 22. Like, I'm doing okay. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, he's he's taking his sweet time. <clears throat> he's making that a three? Is he going to three on one? No, he's going to attack with the five down. Stay there. Nice. We keep the delay going on Blue's Europe. Right? As soon as Blue gets Europe, he's going to get massive. So we... And he's like, why would we let him have it? He's weak. Red is actually going to go for Asia. Hit the black two first. Or split three and a four? Yeah, even weirder. I mean, I respect his game. I was like, he's trying to just take Asia. Like, this is just the best continent and I'm going to take it. I mean, okay. Like, sure. 
Maybe he trades and takes us out and guards with a bunch of like five point guards. It. I don't know. I don't know. Blue trades on three with the big trade. Oh, must be nice. Must be nice being the first person to get a chance on turn four with your three cards and just having the big trade out of nowhere. I wouldn't know. He's going to try to force these out. He's still not taking it. Black's on 14, man. I wish I could kill him. What's up, Doomian? Still no damn Catan after this stream. What's up, bro? Good morning. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Are we doing true random in the KPO? Probably not, no. I hope Red wins this. What a Chad. He is being a Chad. Red gambles on nobody wanting to hit three stacks. I love the try. It is a true random. And if he slowly gets there, I just, I don't want black to be in North America. Although this is, like, if I make a stack here, I might, he's on four cards too. So I need to get an artillery. I have a feeling I'm losing this. I need to get an artillery. And then I need to line up to kill Black, on, hoping he doesn't trade on four. And if he does trade on four, he might just hit my four stack. Red's... Ah, it's all bad, man. I'm going to lose this anyways. Blue wants me to hit purple. What? In what world? Okay, I take a card and it works. I don't think white... Oh, my... Another another cavalry. I think I even just trade them. At least I got a plus two in Argentina, so I do get eight off of it. I think I just trade... He probably knocks me up and takes his Africa now. I just give him a thumbs up. I lose that position. Black better not trade and take my 8. Lose 15. No, nope, perfect dice. Lose 15. Nope, perfect dice. Must be nice. Catan and marbles are extinct now? No, Catan? No, Catan. <laughs> it's all Only Up and Among Us? Yeah, I haven't jumped into the Among Us crowd, but Only Up is a lot of fun. But I'm not streaming that on, on Twitch. Twitch is still going to be risk only for now. Uh, when I do Catan or, or Only Up or anything else, it'll be YouTube or, or Kick. So he hits the black two. So that's a three, a two, and a two that just got taken out. And nobody lost a troop hitting those. That must be really good. Black's on 13. He'll be on 16 and five cards if he doesn't trade. If black doesn't trade, we are in business. Red wants out of Europe, but he can't get out. Come on, please don't trade black and lose a bunch of... If black doesn't trade and loses a bunch of troops on a one or something, <clears throat> I do my six trade. And I come through with this eight and I try to kill him with both of the eights for five cards. And then and then try to give South America to white and take North America. Trades, big trade on four. Okay. Of course, of course he's got the trade, of course. Tom is trying to make me play only up. I have it staring at me unopened on my Steam. Yeah. Wait, you're pointing down here, so I actually can't bring my 8 to me. Well, that's a problem. Well, I have to trade now. I was going to anyways, but... Uh... Okay. There's the artillery. Yeah! I couldn't wait. I can't sit that weak. Especially with him pointing a 21 at me. So I had to do it. <clears throat> had to do it. Listen to Tom. He is wise. 
Black wants South America. It looks like it. What's up, Bertalisk? I mean, I'm just... I mean, I'm doing okay. I'm second in troops right behind White. Although Purple's going to get his bonus in trade, so I'll be behind him too. And also, depending on what Red's trade is, maybe I'm behind him also. Good. That White 5 being in between Black's 21 and my 10 is good. Stay. No! He doesn't want to be in the way, just in case Black hits it. If Black hits the 10 and gets terrible dice, though, I can kill him for his three cards and punish him for his insolence. I hope this 7 stays here because we want to keep Red's 5 here to stop Black and to force this. Yeah, he leave this 12. That's a smart play. And if the 3 stays there, that's also great. That's great. Okay, I like that. Now if Black goes to hit my 10, he's also got to hit a 3 first. <laughs> Actually, Black's cards are looking bad. He either has to four on one or hit a two. So his options for card takes are bad. He could actually lose a bunch of troops on this roll regardless. Because four on one's not great in true random. And hitting a two in true random is also terrifying. I, I think, looking at the board, white's position is the one I like the most. I mean, obviously, white or purple. They both have a lot of troops. They've got good positioning. And they both got their bonuses held. Nobody's really messed in with white here. I think I, I like my position about third most. The downside of my position is this confrontation with black. So now black has to hit a two or a three to get a card. Cool. I like that blue took a card there. I also like that he lost three troops hitting a one. You know what I tried to do? I was going to do true random fixed capitals on classic. That's what I was hosting and what I was trying to do. But the lobby wouldn't have filled. So I made this instead. All right. Lose 12 on the two. Loses only one. Damn. I could. He comes back to there. I could take the one in Greenland. And then and then sit in Greenland with a stack. So blue has to hit something out here for a card. Maybe break white. Oopsie! Ah, give me a cavalry! Come on, do the stuff. Give me one big trade on three. Come on. I'm rooting for red, only two positions left. Well, look at this now. I, I accidentally took a card in Greenland. Oopsie. And now if blue wants to take a card, he has to hit a three or break white or hit the red five. And if he takes a fourth card and gets hurt here, we're feeling good. All right, complete pathway opened up to my 13 now for black. What happens if black doesn't trade and loses some troops hitting? Four cards? <laughs> Red trades. Beefs up his borders. He's almost got 12 territories. Is he going to take Siam now? I think he takes Siam, right? Makes this an eight or something, comes down. Yeah. Beefs up his borders. Does he bring a couple troops over to India? Maybe off here makes this a five and a three? No, nope, backs off completely. Okay. Doesn't want to be sitting in front of Purple's face. He wants Asia, but he doesn't want to be too aggressive about it. Blue trades on three! I that <laughs> Okay, red five goes down. Ooh, he lost 11! Uh, blue is incredibly weak if somebody hits that. The only people that can hit it are me or purple, really, because white won't get a chance with his stack. His stack's got to go through purple to do it. 
Lose a ton of troops, bro. One's not a ton. Keep going. He won't keep going. Oh, do I do it? <laughs> I've got a few options, right? Knock purple out of here, knock white out of here, but then black has better lines on this. I could also break blue. Could card block red over here. Okay, another option is card blocking red. And then maybe red trades and hits blue? Also, if white has a trade, maybe he wants to go off the 2 through a 5 instead of a 7. I don't know. Oh my god, again? No! Playing with cards in hard mode. Maybe I should have killed black for 4. But then I'd be sitting on 5 cards right now and rather weak. But nobody's got a stack pointed at me. But if purple came through to try to do something, white would be able to kill me. I guess white goes before purple. Eh. I had a few options, right? Knock white out, knock purple out, break blue, double slam black, kill black, sit on five cards. Um, I chose card block red. And then I want to see what red does. Oh, purple might give him a card? No. Succeed, please. Damn it. Purple's going to give red a card then. No, he's not. He goes to Siam. Oh, nice. Stay. Stay. Because if Red can't get a card and has a trade on three, he might go into the ten. He might even nine on ten or six on... He's got a trade! Your only card's through the ten, baby boy! What's up, home center? You can do it! Do it all night long! Morning, Troll of Axe. <laughs> Hello dudes and dudettes. Finally, I am home so I can watch Kilted doing what Kilted does best. No trade on four into a dude trade on five. How do you know? How do you know that's coming? Alright, so I was a little sad. Red didn't take a card and uh, break blue. What? Like I figured blue probably doesn't get broken if I don't break them, but still. <laughs> Like, I'm still beating blue in troops. I'm three troops up and three cards, so pretty good. Six-player game. True random dice. Yeah, if you're just joining, we're playing with true random dice, which, of course, causes mayhem. Blue's guarding all his borders, which means when someone does break them, it's going to hurt them. <clears throat> it would make this more fun for us, so you have to do it, Kyle. What? Have to do what, Phil? I want to play Paunch against Kilted. I don't know what that is, Hot Buns. Does Black break blue? No. He's going to be on five cards? Great dice. Great dice. Great dice. Oh. Is this a double big boy trade? Oh, it's a double big boy trade. Oh, it's a triple big boy trade. Ew, baby, a triple! Hmm. I'm making a play for North America now. Oh, what? 
Mm. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. You guys are like, if you take a card, you're going to get a dude. What did I get? I didn't. I would have got a good one. But I didn't take a card. I took five cards. All mine. Blah! And now look at my position. I've completely backed off on South America. So white can take it. <laughs> oh, is he going to do something else instead? Card skips. Card skips instead. I have 12 territories and South America. So if it does come to my turn and I don't have something, I'm probably just going to card skip trade, bring this eight up. Oh my god! What? Red has no cards, you just smack a what? He smacks an 11, loses 15. Instead of taking a 1 off white. I mean, now you're fucker dogged. What is happening? Does red take South America? I think red takes South America. No, he, he's got sick. He's got Asia's on his mind, bro. <clears throat> Give Blue a thumbs up. And a heart. I want Blue to work with me. If he backs the 10 off, I come up and I can bring this 8 over. Right? And then I then I have my guards on North America. If someone takes South America, I'll thumbs up White and say, hey, you can hit my territory and White can take it. Right? <clears throat> come on, Blue. Work with me. I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Come on. Work with me. Don't do not do this to me. Don't take an hour and then forget to do your turn. Take a card off your 10 and back it up to Iceland. Or back it all the way to Ukraine. And then we can trust each other. Or bring the 10 out. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay, make this a 10. Make this uh, whatever this is. Make this an 11. Um, tell white. Attack my territory if you need to. Thumbs up. He sends a heart. Boom! We got that Central America Cavalry back. Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Yes. Oh, we have shifted from South America into North America. Now we're in a good spot. Woo, baby! Send Blue a heart. Now my next play is obviously going to be come out here and fuck with Red. Unless this is too... Unless I don't want to hit a 6. I might skip, right? Give him a thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Thumbs up, we agree. Go to Egypt or stay in East Africa. Goes to North Africa. Okay, so it's point, pointed at blue. And also guarding this. Yeah, yeah, thumbs up. That's great. That's a great fucking move. I, I, he didn't break me before I got North America. And then when I got North America, I made sure to let him know. He's going to kill red for one card. No, he's breaking everything. No, he's just, he wants Asia. Bro, you're dead. You're dead. This is crazy. He hit a six and lost nothing. This is ten more troops, though. You could lose everything. You could lose this roll. Okay. Got okay dice. He did all that for one card. He's going to be on four cards and 30 troops on his turn after he passes. He got incredibly good dice on those last bunch of rolls. Oh, my God. He, he lost nothing on all those last ten troops, I think. What's up, Johnny? <clears throat> red has his own mission. Yeah, I thought red was a bot. Now where will I get cards? Um, What is this? Like, they should be... Uh, White should take Middle East and sit with his 57 on Middle East. And blue should full stack Ukraine and be taking cards in here. And then blue's on Ukraine, white's on Middle East, and they trade in Afghanistan. Blue's actually skipping.
White's also got a two on his border, and I'll match it two and two, pointing a 40 at purple. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 he's got it. He's going to come in here and make his 57 here. I backed off his border, so he's got even less to care about. Boom. You don't let a guy with 30 troops hold Asia. <clears throat> Bring your 57 to the 8. Please. Okay, brings the 2. But purple's going to trade. He can hit the 9. He couldn't have hit this if it was a 60. Okay. If blue's going to play... Okay, so here's the thing. If blue's going to play passive hide in my corner... Then after... I kill purple with white. After I kill purple with white, white and Lara are going to be in an alliance and we're going to probably kill blue. If blue is not going to help. If he's not willing to work with us and we are willing to work with each other, probably blue gets third. The only way he doesn't get third is if he starts fighting purple right now. Pretty much. He's going to take a card here. Hmm. Oh my god, my dice are just paying me back now. What is this? I'm... I killed two and I lost eight or ten or something, so, uh... <laughs> yeah, I killed two? What was my start? I started with... Lost two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I lost eight and killed two. I got great dice here. Please, yes, he's going to continue. Now sit here with that. Sit here with this stack. And now purple's card block. Oh, he's going to take Australia instead. Actually, I like that. The only downside here is purple might just suicide me and quit, which hurts. Oh, he doesn't actually take it. So he purple can actually, has a move other than suiciding me. He could try to retake this and then bring the 19 down. And then I can come out. I think the 19 comes off my border now. I think the 19 comes to Siam or Indonesia. Okay, it comes here. So now I actually get a card. Now Blue, if he wants a card, he's going to take it in Euro. He's playing so passive. It's fine, Connor. We're going to kill you. <laughs> I should have hit Cam Jack. Well, when it was a 6? Well, it turns out I lost eight troops slow rolling it, so maybe I should have just sucked it up and hit the six earlier. I'm okay with how this is going, though. If purple suicides into white... Blue's got five cards, man. Like, that's super, super delicious. Now I sit here. Triple, triple cavalry with a plus two in Central America and a plus two in Kamchatka. I like my position now. White also has the most troops on the board, but he's down on cards. So I'm, I'm reasonably close to white. And I'm stronger than blue, but not by a lot. Which is fine. Purple and white implode a bit, and then purple will die. And then... Yeah, and then probably I work with white on blue. Oh, he's just going to do it. Do I kill purple if he hits that? I think I do. <laughs> Lost 31 on it. If purple doesn't have a trade and takes a fourth card, that's great for me. I will destroy him. Okay, and I think white will work with me on blue. If purple doesn't trade and I can kill him, I think white works with me on blue. Please don't trade. Mm. Take a card? Nice. Roll the three on one. Beautiful. Made it way easier for me. <clears throat> so I don't trade because I'm going to use his cards instead. What's blue do? Does blue kill purple? I don't think so.
attack blue? Thumbs up? Or thumbs down? Like, he has to know purple's dead. <laughs> blue's trading on five. He's on 86 troops. Does he do the run on purple? He could, he could also feed it to me because there's a split here in Japan. That's awkward. Or does he just take Australia? Oh, look at these splits! He's too slow. Is he gonna guard Australia? <laughs> what is this? Three on one fails? The 30, better not attack with the 30, because that guards it. Okay. Okay. White says well played to me, yeah. I want white to hit blue. All oh, the dudes! Which is fine, I needed them. Um, Central America, no. Afghanistan, Alberta. Afghanistan? I'm full. I got a cavalry trade. Now, does he work with me on blue? Thumbs up. I mean, maybe he goes all the way with me. Maybe not, right? Maybe I get third. Maybe I get second. But maybe we win. So far, so good. I pointed completely at blue. I'm wondering if he would hit the 17 or not. I, I mean, I wouldn't blame him if he didn't. Maybe he sits in Ukraine? Does he hit the 15? Just hits some ones and a three? That like that that does show some solidarity. Hits the three and the five, maybe. Hits a bunch of his ones and then stops. Oh that I'll still take that. That's showing a bit of annoyance to blue, right? Now blue looks and sees white in his bonus and not orange. Got Greenland plus two also. I'm getting all the cavalry that I want. Kamchatka, Greenland, Central America, all the way. He's going to break North America now. Now, does he break North America and keep going? What do you do? I still have Australia. He might break that too. Or does he retake? He doesn't even retake. What's he doing? Puts the 42 behind me. Interesting. Okay. I should show White some good faith, right? I hit the 15. Minus nine on a one. There you go, one shot. That's my worst ever. That's my worst ever on true random. Minus nine on a one. Yeah, blue might suicide me. But now I've knocked blue and me down to white size. Now he probably at least hits the five and the three, right? I think he hits this stuff. <laughs> Only loses one. I lost nine on a one. He probably stops. Or
Or is he... He keeps hitting blue? Okay. And now he goes to Middle East? Ukraine? Ukraine, probably, right? Back here? Leaves it here. So as anybody goes through... Now his stack is trapped, but doesn't matter. I have 69 troops, no trade. I lost 9 on a 1, man. That's a 10v1, essentially, right? 9 attacking troops. That's crazy. That's the worst I've ever actually seen in a game. I've seen a screenshot of a 14v1 losing. I would like it if blue turns on white now. He's going to take North America. He's not going to break him. I think he takes North America instead. No, he breaks him. Okay, there we go. If blue starts trading swings with white, then I'm happy. He's going to be on five cards. He also breaks Australia. Do I feed him? I feed his five cards to white? <clears throat> I think I'm going to try to feed him. Give white a thumb. If I get second place, I get second place. But I'm going to try. And I'm just going to feed him to white completely. And if white kills him for five cards and then beats me, I lost a five on a one. Lost 12 on a four. True random is my friend. I should have probably 20 more troops right now. This should be a... I should be at 63. I should be 20 troops higher. I tried to make it worth it. He's probably got a trade. And he can kill blue. He's not going to kill blue. Damn it. I, I I swung hard, right? I lost how many troops in that? My stack started as a 54. And ended as a 22. I put 30 some odd troops. 35 troops into blue there. I was hoping he'd go the rest of the way. You could kill him. You could have killed him. Like, he could have actually just full-on killed him. Now blue trades. This is a problem. <laughs> 12 on a 4, 5 on a 1, 9 on a 1. What is that? A 4, a 1, and a 1. That's 6 troops where I lost 12, 9, and 4. I lost 25 troops killing 6. I mean, yes, that's great and all, but I think... I mean, if blue's hitting white, it means he's trying to win still, right? He's not suiciding me. He's actually just trying to win. Is there a world in which I trade, retake North America, and chill? Lose everything on this too, please. Of course not. Of course not! Purple had God Dice the entire match. Purple? Earlier he did, yeah. But then he died. Don't leave that there. Oh, come on. Yeah, bring it back. Thank you. The 33 can always break me, though, this way, right? Would white kill him if I do something? Well, I'm trading. Um... One big stack. Oh, man, this is so tough. <clears throat> you can't send links. You should be able to post links, I think. You can definitely send links in the Discord. I think you can in Twitch. I, I It's going to be very hard to get first in this game. Um, If I got better, like... I tried to entice white to killing blue for five cards. He didn't take it. So I think 
I think White's playing very hard for first, and he's not going to take big risks. Blue, I'm going to give him a thumbs up and uh, tag White. Thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> I mean, this might be a case of over-signaling somebody, but... Blue actually can't break him. Look at White's... White's fucking good. No way. White took these bonuses in a way that Blue can't get there with his stack. Because he can't get through Southern Europe, Northern Europe with his 33. But Blue can break this way. Oh, fail? If he fails, the 33 has to come up. Damn it. I got five troops, though. Oh, this is tough. Okay. Double artillery, one dude. How do we win this game? White is very good, I think. But, like, I, I'm okay getting second. If white wins, then that's fine, right? Like, I, I'd rather me and white work on blue and I get second than to play for two hours. And it is a bloodthirsty game, so... Like, presumably, White's going to knock out these five ones. Or, no, he probably knocks out these three, right? Venezuela, Brazil, North Africa. Because he keeps the 33 from Siam not allowed to come through. The downside, though, is Blue probably trades. And then he can trade off here. Okay, he does open it. Where does he go to Ukraine after this? North Africa. Okay, so he's kind of forcing Blue to go through me, hit my five. So he's only going to lose a one. Blue's going to hit one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven of my troops to hit this one. That's another good play, right? Now I might lose eleven troops to White's one, depending how this goes. He also might just break break and not do that, but I think he does. I think he breaks everything. If he stops here, I would be very happy. No, he doesn't. Of course. That was a good play by White. And he's going to run out of time before he gets to South America. So he's actually going to run out of time with his stack trapped in North America. Oh, he's going fast. Maybe he gets there. No, he doesn't break South America. Well, at least I keep my five then. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing, though. Now his stack is trapped and he has no trade. Please work. This is the time I need you to work. This is the time I needed you to work, man. Oh, two dudes and two artillery. Why? <laughs> no. No. Well. Does he lose 12 on a four? No, he loses zero. Zero on a four. Must be nice. Must be absolutely most wonderful thing ever. Oh my god, he's not hitting the 37. He opens the 37. He's gonna slow roll it? What the fuck? I love you. I love you. You feel my pain and you reward me. I love you. I... The biggest homie of life right here. Wow. He's also playing from the Isle of Man, right? So, I mean, that's that. them my dudes. Hey, Blue, why don't you taste it? In before, my 37 stack is not enough to kill Blue. 
Watch me lose this. Is that Isle of Maniac? Manian? <laughs> Isle of Manian. What's up, John? You suck, kid. That's a very mean thing to say. He lives in a tax heaven. Fifth card, dude. Let's go. Gets me that third. That's what I needed. I have a trade now. Well, I had a trade anyways of killing him. Don't screw me, Dice. Oh my god. I'm just- I'm going with all of them. I have to get the kill. <laughs> Alright. Ukraine. Stop! Stop it! I mean, I've got the troops, right? But it's true random. He could hit my 12 and lose nothing. Okay. Taste it. Taste the rainbow. I love this guy. This, that was amazing. He actually just... Like, he ended the game. Dudes for the win, send dudes! This game, I, I have no idea. I don't have words for this. This is true random, baby. What a great test of true random. I haven't played true random in like a month. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Holy crap. Holy moly donut shot. Where's my plus twos? Doesn't really matter. None of them are useful. Pow! Pow! Ooh! Nice! 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 Okay! Oh! There's a big trade! Oh! The big trade on three! Oh, of course he had it too. <laughs> Good game. Good game, bro. What a sick game. What a sick game. Luck is better than skill? Oh my god. What's my kill loss stats? That's a good question. I killed 154 and I lost 173. So negative 20. We'll take it. That's uh, better than I was expecting with some of those rolls I got. Minus 9 on a 1. Go get him. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Well, you know what is going to happen here. We're going to end. Boof! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I expected worse than my point. Me too, man! Wow! Orange guy from Netherlands just cleaning up the board and it in the Congo. Let's fucking go. Woo! Good game. All right. Red was novice. We had triple beginners. White was... I think white's way better than beginner. This guy is on an alt count. There's no fucking way he's a beginner. Um, or he's just donking it up in a bunch of crazy settings. Purple was intermediate, by the way. What a great game. I haven't played true random in actually a month plus. Since the Chaos Tournament Finals. It was a great game, man. Anybody watching from YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. I got more crazy stuff like this every day. And this one up here that YouTube says you haven't seen yet, but you should definitely watch this one. See you later.